Hello. Good afternoon. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys feeling today? In this hot, very hot summer's evening. A time I'm not usually going live, but I got to take my mind off some things. I have that little procedure done tomorrow and I'm super, super nervous. Um, I've decided you guys won't see me on camera today because I do look like I need sleep, <laughs> to be honest with you. But yeah, hope everybody is all right. Who do we have in chat? Adrienne. Oh, by the way, special thanks to my mods who are always there, you know, day and night, night and day. It's not a normal time for me to go live during the week, but thank you all for being here tonight. So Adrian, Amy, and Anna, Big T, Carly, Craftastic, Cynthia, Dave G, Deb, Debs, Haley, Heidi, Catherine, Kelly, Kirsty, Kiwi, Lady Sarah, Le Lisa B, Nanya Business, Penny, Scorpions, Dave, Sharon Ashman, Shine Like a Diamond, Tanya from Jefferson, Tumbleweed, You're My Sunshine, Big T, did I forget about you? No, I didn't. Welcome, everybody. Um, on today's live stream, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the infamous doll picture. Thank you, Lindy. Um, yeah, the media, you know, pretty much said, oh, that's premeditation. And, you know, they took it as a sign of premeditation, big time, right? So what I want to show you today, I did it previously, but so many new people coming in and they don't know about this stuff. So I thought, all right, I'm going to show it again and explain again about the doll picture. So I'm going to share my screen and this is not going to be like a three hour live stream, so no worries. But I thought I'm going to show you anyway. OK, um, just give me one wee second. Where am I? And there I am. I called it the doll pick scam. Pick scam. So was the infamous doll picture a hidden warning towards Shannon of what's coming at her? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let's start at the beginning, right? All right, August the 9th. At 10.06 hours, Shannon shared an ultrasound image of her unborn son with her friend Sarah Nod. What you see here, and I zoom in a little bit, is the item number in the discovery. Um, every device they take into evidence or download data from has a, its own device number. So Shanann's phone is device number or item number, as they call it in the discovery, 42. And the timeline entry, 151, 685. So timeline entry means every event, or I call it, I prefer to call it event log rather than timeline entry, um, because every single thing you do with your phone logs a timeline in your data log on the phone, such as in and outgoing text messages, incoming outgoing pictures. When you take a picture, when you take or make phone calls and all these sorts of things. So every event you do is a timeline entry. And then of course, the image numbers, right? This for example, has the image number 7834. So by the time Shannon sent this to her friend, Sarah, she had 7,834 images stored. Um, we're gonna see throughout um, PNG files and HEIC files. HEIC is nothing other than a normal 
you know, um, image file, but HEIC you only see on Apple devices. So the difference between HEIC and PNG is, uh, just to explain it really quickly, uh, on an HEIC image, you have metadata. That means you can um, see when was the picture taken, probably um, what location, at what location that picture was taken and so on and so on. While with a PNG file, you cannot do this because metadata is not stored on pictures converted to a PNG file. So, so much about this. So she sends that to her friend, Sarah, 1006, August the 9th, time, timeline entry, item number, and her image entry number. Then we see this the same day, a little while later, an hour and 40 minutes or so, she posts that picture. Oh, hold on a second. I'm going to turn on my phone so I can at least see a that little picture. bit of your <clears throat> of your um, chat going on. Um, do you guys have any questions so far or is that understandable? because I don't want, you know, to continue if something is not clear or unclear for you guys. So if you have any question, questions, speak now or be silent forever. <laughs> no, just joking. All right. So same day, a little later, August the 9th at 11.46 a.m., Shannon posts publicly, I don't know what to think about this, followed by two laughing emojis. That There's the doll picture. Um, what I got to note here a little bit is, um, do you have everyone who has little kids, right? Um, do you think that little kids like two, three, four years old would be able to wrap a doll that neatly? I mean, if my kids wrap a doll or put put a doll in, in a blanket or something, it looks like all over the place, right? So I don't know. I think in my opinion, of course, I wasn't there. I don't know. But in my opinion, this does not look to me as if a child has done this, right? But that's just my opinion. Maybe it was just a little fun. All right. So that was her Facebook post, publicly posted and still available on her Facebook page. Then we get to August the 12th. So we've been to August the 9th, yeah, the 9th, right? Then we go further to August the 12th. This was before the Lindstrom birthday party. So at 10.32, Shannon asked Watts to send her some pictures of the girls adding, I miss them. Item 41, what's his personal phone? Timeline entry 7671. So he's way behind, right? As Shannon is using her phone for her business, obviously see, she is in the 150,000s, while Watts is only in the 7-8,000s with his timeline entry. So then we see here a um, picture taken of CC, the image number of CC 7524, and image number of Bella 7525. So he took those pictures in order first CC, then Bella. Roughly 18 hours before their murders, Watts took one of the last known images of Celeste in life. He sent this and one of Bella taken at the same time to Shannon. You guys know how I feel um, with personal emotional comments in a discovery. In my opinion, this has nothing to do, and you know, this shouldn't be in a in a in a discovery. Also, how do they know roughly 18 hours before their murders? You know, the, the medical examiner does not give us a um, Time of death. Hold on a sec. Uh, 
All right, so here again, the technician states time, um, item number 41, timeline entry 7672, 7673. So that does match two timeline entries because he took two pictures, right? Images two, uh, 7524 and 7525. And see here, this is an HEIC image file, meaning this picture contains metadata, unlike the one of baby Nico. All right, then it goes further. At 10.45, probably still at home, what searched Google for Mount Colima? He preserved an image of the volcano spewing lava and smoke. And this here is interesting. Um, um, remember what I told you just two minutes ago about HEIC files and PNG files, right? So PNG files are most likely downloaded pictures from somewhere, okay? So he is searching Google for Mount Colima, downloads a picture or, you know, saves a picture in his image file. Um, and for the pictures on Google, there is rarely metadata available. That's why it's a PNG file. So item 41, timeline entry 7675-7677. When we go back, his last timeline entry was 7673. So that does match up with here, 7675. So that tells us he did two more things, maybe searching for more, because the searches on Google are also a timeline entry, right? So if he Googles for Mount Colima and goes to two different web pages during his search, it, each web page he visits will show up in his timeline entry. So he did uh, one, two, three, four searches for Mount Colima saves the image in his file, which is 7526. The last picture he took was 7525, as you can see here with Bella. So this is an order, that's okay. No flaws, all good. So at 11.13, Shanann asked if the girls were taking a nap. What said they were just laying down? Shanann asked what, if you have time before they wake, and want to call me back, I'd love to talk to you. What said, okay, but he never did. So all these text messages they exchanged were uh, 78, 9, 8. That was five text messages in total. And you can see that on five timeline entries, 7678 to 7682. Nothing unusual so far. Okay, then at 1.30, he already being at the birthday party. Um, and if I remember correctly, um, Lindstrom, either it was Jeremy or his wife, they said he came a little late because the kids slept in, right? So he wasn't lying when he said that the, the kids were taking an, a nap. All right, 1.30. Watts took photographs of the girls playing in the distance in a backyard near a small pool at the Lindstrom birthday party. Item number 41, his personal phone, timeline entry 7684 to 7685. He takes two more images, 7527 and 7528, which lines up. Yep, it lines up. The last image he saved into his folder was 7526. And the next image he saves was 7527, 7528. So nothing unusual here, right? At 746 in the afternoon on Sunday, we know that his work, uh, his phones, both, neither work phone nor personal phone, connected to his home router before 9 p.m. So at 746, what's resent? the images from earlier in the day at the dinner table. He added this image taken later in the day at the birthday party. 
the last known photograph of Bella in life. And let's check if that's lining up with this timeline. 7528 was the last picture he took. And this image is 7529. So all perfectly fine. It lines up. So um, many have asked, of course, he is um, resending the pictures, in my opinion, because the girls were no longer, I would say, there. 746, that's about the time uh, an hour and 15 minutes before he even gets home. Okay, so let's summarize that a little bit. So all the images and timeline entries as well are accounted for, except one or two. And these are also accounted for because he sends um, NK messages while he is at the birthday party. Stuff like, oh, you have a good day at the with the folks at the museum and Dead Sea Skulls and all that kind of crap, right? So these are the only two that are not accounted for, but somehow accounted for because the technician does not mention those text messages they exchange in the, ti in the timeline, but the entries are missing. So we know he sent her messages back and forth. So they're there. So everything is accounted for and in order. This is something new for the discovery because normally nothing is in order in that thing. Image 7524, that was CC, you know, eating pizza right here. 7525 was Bella right here. 7526 was his um, creating an image file of Mount Colima. So he downloaded that picture. Image 7527 was at the birthday party. 7528 was at the birthday party. And image 7529, Bella sitting on the chair. 7529. So everything here is accounted for. All right. What the technician did was... At 11.44, and we're going back to August 9th. At 11.44 hours, this image was taken by Watts' phone, which he sent to Shannon. She replied, don't know what to think about this. So what they give here is item 41. That's Watts' phone, personal phone. Timeline entry 72992730. So 7300, right? The 7299 is actually him taking the picture. The 7, uh, 7300 is him, uh, no. The 7299 is him taking the picture, according to the technician. The 7300 is him sending it, right? Because remember, we need here three timeline events, right? The taking of the picture, the sending of the picture, and then when Shannon replies to him, don't know what to think about this, this is another timeline entry. The thing is, we only have two timeline entries here, okay? Now look at the image number, 7836. And I gotta share a different screen now with you because on August the 9th, it ends with this picture, his timeline number 7300. And where else is another timeline entry? Here. So two, three days later from the 9th to the 12th, and that's the 12th, right? The birthday party. He had a way higher entry number. So it jumped from 7,300 to 7,684. Okay. So 
It is possible that three days previously, he sent her that picture, right? It is possible. Now let's go back to the actual friggin' discovery and I'll show you something. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Just give me a second. Hold on, I gotta pull this somehow different. Um, Amy, you believe that she knew that Chris was having an affair? I I don't know, maybe. Um, just give me one second, you guys. Technical difficulties. Um, but that's a live stream, right? So oh, I have the wrong window open. Uh, I'm a dummy. I truly am a dummy. All right. Give it another go. There you go. All right, that's the discovery. And we're going to go back to, we need to look for the entry close to 7,300, right? So what date are we on here? August the 9th. That is, yeah, that could be August the 9th, right? August 8th, August 9th, here. What's took the day off from work and Shannon left for Arizona? 7,270. We're coming close. Here, 920 hours. A log entry appears in the secret calculator in Watt's phone. 7289. And this is, I believe, the closest we come to the timeline. We need some kind of evidence that he took this picture and send it and she replied to him. So 7289. Keep that in mind. Ha! There's nothing. See? So the last timeline entry on the 9th was at 920 with 7289. So what he did was sending text messages, pictures, taking pictures, making, taking phone calls, whatever, 10 times or searching Google, right? So the phone locked basically 10 timeline entries before he supposedly sent this picture. It does line up with um, the timeline given in the discovery, right? The, the, the last number we see here in the timeline is 7289, and the next one is 7299. Thank you, Amy. What they forgot, though, is taking the picture, sending it to her, and she replying. That would make three timeline entries, but they only give us two. So that's bullshit, okay? I just wanted to show you this. So 7836, I'm going to share my other screen again with you. Uh, oopsie. I closed that by mistake. I'm sorry. You guys, I'm so nervous about tomorrow. I can't even think straight. I don't even know how to, how I go through with this live stream, to be honest. No. All right. So. Back to the, back to business. Okay. Um, so as I just showed you, this should be three um, timeline entries. It's only two. So she replying to him, don't know what to think about this is bull crap, right? They just took it exactly what she posted. Because this Facebook post would also be in a timeline entry on her phone. So I don't know what to think about this. She did not reply that to Chris. She posted that picture saying this. Don't know what to think about this. Followed by, by, by two emojis. So now, so far, so good. So they fooled us with the timeline entries. And they also fooled us with the image number. If somebody would look over the discovery, seeing those things, 
they would probably fly over this because it looks good. You know, you don't see if you don't really investigate and dig deep into this, it appears to be correct, right? But if you take a closer look, it does not appear so correct anymore. So now let's take a look at this. So 1006, like I told you, she sends neat baby a picture of baby Nico to Serena. And also, you guys, do you remember what I told you about PNG files? She downloaded that picture somewhere. And I was told um, that some um, ultrasound clinics, they give you a CD or they give you a stick or they give you even... Um, I don't know if it's true because here in Germany, it's not like that. So I'm relying on you American guys to tell me if that's true. Um, they even give you ac an access code to a website or to a file kind of website where you can download the ultrasound images of um, your baby. Is that true? Yes, Tumbleweed, that's a PNG file. And that was most likely downloaded. But before anyone is twisting my words, I'm not saying she downloaded that from Google. I'm saying it could have been that she got a stick with the pictures of baby Nico or that she was having access to a website of the clinic where they stored those pictures and she had access to download it. Okay. All right. That that's because there's no metadata on PNG files, but that just aside, I don't want to confuse you guys with that stuff because it's confusing to me too. <laughs> I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. Uh, now look at this. All right. We have her timeline. Yeah. In the hundred thousands. And now look at this. What do you see? What do you guys see? We remember his image entry or his image number at the highest on the 12th was 7529 by the 12th of August. This we're talking 9th of August. Right. So if his last image of Bella taken of Bella was 7,500 something on the 12th of August, how can it be that he has a higher number, 300 or so higher images or number of images in his phone three days earlier? It's impossible, right? Haha, <laughs> that's what I thought. That's what I thought too. It's impossible. It is possible though, because I did not think of the incoming images. Okay? So what they did, and they thought they were really smart, but they didn't know that I'm coming along. Okay? I, I know I sound arrogant, but I am <laughs> in this case. What they did do was they took his timeline entry here, 7299 to 7300, which is bullcrap we just learned because this should have been three timeline entries, not two. But her... Image entry number, right? Because the person who sent that picture to her, and that is a could be, not a fact, the, her phone registered the incoming image as an image file. Do you understand what I mean? Or do you want me to explain it again? 
just give me a shout in the in the comment section. I don't uh, see all of your um no Kelly searches answers. Um the image number does not get overwritten if you delete and take new images. They stay the same in the metadata. So it's not possible that he deletes 300 images and then just takes 300 new ones. That's not working that way. <clears throat> so if, for example, if I would delete image number 7836, right? and I take a new one, the new one I would take would still have the image file number 7837. Why? Because the meta metadata is totally different. So it's not working that way. All right. So it could be that he sent her that picture but it's highly unlikely because we only see two timeline um, entries instead of three. And it's her image file number, right? So, and that was the same day. So in between her sending the image of Nico to her friend, Sarah, and that doll picture, there was one more picture either taken or received or downloaded or whatnot. Right? Okay. So I thought, all right, um, possible that he really did send it to her, yeah? But everything would have lined up perfectly, as I explained earlier. If somebody is looking through this stuff, it appears to be all right. And we found so many errors in the discovery. It's not even real. You know, they mixed up stuff. They left out. They mixed up entry numbers. They mixed up timeline entries. They mixed up so much. It's not even funny. Okay, just give me a second. I'm um, going to reply to some of your comments or they will go under again um yeah she canceled doctor's appointments um all they do take is 4d ultrasounds her doctor she missed her appointment with called police and told them there was something they needed to know it was never disclosed what it was that's true that's true. So what? So it was his image that she received and not her image. Haha, <laughs> that's the million dollar question here. We're getting to this. So, hi Mitch. So, <laughs> they made one little error. You know, they didn't know that I would be coming along. Haha. <laughs> now I'm just joking, you guys. Like I said, would have been looked nice on paper, right? So if a judge or anyone, you know, connected to this case or um, investigating this case, oh, yeah, definitely premeditation. He took that picture and sent it to her and then she posted it or whatnot, right? Okay. The little error they made is this. Chris was at work by the time he supposedly took the picture of the wrapped up doll. Okay. How about that for a change? So he was evidently, evidently, right? They making us believe that he took this picture on the 9th. Took this picture on the 9th. And see what also they do. They don't give us anything, nothing, nothing, you know? We don't know if that was an H-E-I-C image or a P-N, what's it called again? PNG file image. So they leave us to guess because if that would have said, 
PNG, right? I would have said, all right, he might have, you know, had it somewhere in a folder and re-downloaded it or whatnot. But they don't give us anything and they don't give us an HEIC file. Why not? Because then we could look at the metadata. And then we knew exactly, exactly who sent that picture, even the location of this picture being taken. Okay. They thought that, you know, this is a big thing and they just make it look like pure premeditation. So I personally do not believe that he took this picture. I do believe that she was at home playing with the girls, wrapped this doll up or whatnot, took a picture, found it funny, posted it on Facebook. That's my opinion. There is no evidence whatsoever that he took this picture. How could he? He was out on the fields. He was. Um, I just changed the... Uh, um, that date so it's not um, the 8th of September this is just how we in Europe um, do our date so I um, yeah basically changed it so it's easier for me to understand so on August the 9th between 10:29 and 11:58, she posted a picture when um 11 46 11.58, 12, and even then he went to different sites. He was at State 39, Ritchie USX, which is a oil battery. He went to Riceback, 9.18, and then he went to 3.291, County Road 27 in Fort Lupton. So how the hell does he have a living room um you know, um, decorated the same as his house somewhere out in the field, I doubt it. Yeah, so no. To me, he did not take the stall picture. It's bullshit. They don't give us anything. They even give us the, you know, the PNG on Nico's um, image. They give us the file here on Bella and Cece's images. Right, they give they, they give us basically everything. Here, same thing here, and you can you know that's all in the discovery. You guys can look for yourself. Um, yeah, that's bullshit. Never has he ever sent this picture to her. It played into their hands though, because with what happened to her, right, and then seeing oh she posted that on Facebook um weird right so yeah they try to say all right you know he premeditated this like big time he let her know three days ahead what is coming at her which I don't believe he did simply because he wasn't at home they give us the exact time and date where he supposedly took this picture, send it to her, and she replied to it, which is bull bullshit in itself, because there's one timeline entry missing. If that was true, it should be 7299 to 7301, but it's not. So, not fooling us. And here, the proof that he wasn't even at home they do mention that oh he took the day off you know oh hold on a second i actually can show you that they probably purposely mixed two days up because on um, yeah here i have it hold on we all know that she left on the 10th for arizona right and not on the 9th. Now I'm going to show you something. Let me just get to this freaking discovery again. Uh, oh man, I'm not good in multitasking. Here you go. So, do you see that? 
August the 9th, Watts took the day off from work and Shanann left for Arizona. And then we're supposed to believe that this happened on the 9th. And why are we supposed to believe that? Because he was alone home with the kids. Right? He was home alone with the kids. She was in Arizona. So they make us believe on the 9th she left, which is not true. And he took that picture, send it to her, you know, see what's going to happen to you. Now, check this out. Got to scroll a little bit more. <laughs> you see that? August the 10th, Watts took the day off from work and Shannon left for Arizona. You see that? How they BSing you guys? August the 10th. This is the truth. She left August the 10th, not the 9th. But they put it in August the 10th and also identical August the 9th. Hmm. I rest my case. See, and things like that you find throughout the discovery. Throughout the discovery. And if you watch the timeline of death, uh, put up uh, with Dave and Don months ago, we tried to uncover all of these little flaws and lies. I mean, Don said some of it is going back just to human error, right? But if you look closely and deep into this, um, no, they, they, they must see that. They cannot provide something like this to a judge. You know, it's impossible. They cannot do this. This would be purposely lying. Not good. Not nice. So August the 9th and August the 10th, same thing. So with that being said, I wonder what else we haven't discovered in the discovery um, apart from what we already discovered in the timeline of death. So yeah, bull crap. Um, I'm gonna go back to that so we have at least a little picture. And then I also gotta wanna address something. All right, so does everybody understand what I was trying to say? Or do you want me to explain that again in short? <laughs> um, <clears throat> because if not, I just want to ask you something, guys. Do people don't understand or do they not want to understand? what I'm saying. That's the big question. I get so many messages, emails, whatnot, asking me, Don is not right. The presentation you put up is wrong. Okay, first of all, you weren't there. You don't know. Okay, so how can you say it's I'm wrong? I never said that this is over for me. What I said was, I am still going to talk about the case. Yeah. But I'm not investing so much time anymore because for me, there's not much more to investigate and I will be continuing to cover that case more in an informative way rather than in an investigative way. And this is exactly what I said. Now people come at me saying, ah, you said you stopped the case and you're not talking about the case anymore. No, this is not what I said. And I don't get it. Why do people twist words all the time? This is how rumors, um, you know, coming up. And I don't like it. I really don't like it. Yeah, please. Do ask, you can ask me anything, you know, you can call me anything. I don't care. But don't go around other channels or other creators saying, 
ah, she's stopping or she said this and that if it's not true. Again, if it does not come out of my mouth and if you did not hear anything, me saying it, don't believe it, okay? This is the big, big thing I have to tell you because it's really, really stupid. And, you know, don't put out there what NK statement was according to, okay? She stated in her agreement and she also did not get immunity. You guys don't mix that up with immunity. There was no immunity. There was an agreement made with her. In case it goes to trial, the agreement is done. No agreement, okay? So that's the reason her dad always kept on when is this going to trial do you think it's going to trial when where do you think it's going to trial do you think he takes a plea agreement do you think this do you think that you know that's the only reason he said that okay so what don did and he did fantastic because you know all these people i'm, I'm not talking about the good people and i'm not talking about people who really have genuine questions about this I'm talking about people coming along saying, you're wrong. It wasn't like that. You know, I ask you to sit down with a program like this and do the work Don did. And then you can blab your mouth. This is what I wanted to tell you guys. Not you guys, but all these other people out there who, you know, twist words, bringing misinformation and say things I never said in my life. Okay. I'm glad that Don um, came across that information. Whether or not you believe it, that's you, okay? Everybody is free to believe whatever they like. But at least whether or not it's true what she says, which I don't believe it's true because she lied her ass off every single time she spoke to law enforcement. Okay? I do not believe that everything she said, nothing. Neither do I believe anything his body said. I think she was way more involved and I say it again. I believe she was way more involved. The story she gave was to wiggle her ass out of the situation. That's what it was, in my opinion. So what Don did with the animation he presented to you was he was going along according what NK's statement was to see if this is a possibility of how it went this was all going on or how it happened he didn't say oh it was like this he didn't say that not a word he was just showing is that a possibility oh yes i do uh, very much think that the source is credible anna you know, Don, Don is not a person, you know, he doesn't need to be in the spotlight. He doesn't need to be, you know, we all aren't really, you know. And like previously or before, you know, Dave and I and Don, we were sitting on so much information and we never released it on YouTube, ever. We gave our statements once it came out from other sources but, and then we were talking about it like, you know, oh, now it came out from somewhere. But we never, I do respect the family too much, to be honest with you. I would never do anything like that, right? To me, it places her on scene with that agreement. It does place her on scene. And this is all I need to know. Because then all our work we've done is not done in vain. Right? So with this agreement, I would ha have never thought that TM, I call him. I don't want to say his name. Um, he disgusts me, honestly. 
exactly provision of grief, can believe NK and TM, even if they notarize their own tongues. It's true. You know, with his stupid, yes, sir, of course, sir. Yeah, let me crawl up your ass, sir. Yes, sir. You know, who? how many of you um, listen to that stupid interview over and over and over again? And then it takes one second and you catch it. It's like, you know, he said on tape, you know, uh, you guys asked me to go out to survey and I let you guys out there. He said that. And I learned that after I learned the news. So, sorry for venting. But I thought this needed to be said. I'm just sick of, you know, the words twisting, um, the misinformation and this and that, you know. And we bring so much and people are still not pleased. You know, you can show them black. And, you can. Oh, my God. You can bring them NK on a silver platter and they still would doubt you. Okay. Still. Then I have some people do this, do that, request this document, request that document. You should do this. You should look into this. You should do this. Why me? If you're out for justice as you say you are, why don't you get up your ass, call in Wells County and try to obtain documents yourself? Right? Why aren't you doing it? Why do you demand me to do it? Do you really think I have not left one stone unturned? But try it. Request the data, request the phone records, request the polygraph. Dave and I did it over and over and over and over again. You get nowhere with them. Nowhere. And yes, I do believe as long as Chris is not opening his mouth. There will be no reopening of anything. There will be no justice. Won't happen. Sorry to bust you guys' bubbles, but it won't happen. You can request discovery files, whatnot, doesn't effing matter. You won't get it. You won't get it. They won't give it to you. Why don't they want to give it to you? Because they want this to be swept under the rug. That's why. Why do you think all his um, stuff is not made publicly available? Right? Can you guys still hear me? Because my internet is jumping up and down like crazy. I hope you guys can still hear me. Um, you know, I told you before and in many, many live streams of mine, I told you always look for the reasoning. Always look why, you know, there's a, there's a reason for everything that's happening. Thank you, Mitch. My um, internet is just going up and down, bouncing. We have a little storm outside. You know, there's a reasoning. There's a reason for everything that's happening. Ask yourself, why did he get into a good prison? Why did he get transferred? They couldn't care less, right? Why? Ich bin kein Sessel, Pups. <laughs> provision of grief. Yep, exactly. Um, what provision of grief is uh, saying, it's um, like a saying we have here. And it basically means, oh my God, how do I, <laughs> how do I even translate this? It means I'm, I'm a doer, not sitting on my desk and just, you know, talk BS. <laughs> Yeah, some some somehow um, something along those lines. Yeah, but it's true. Um, 
you know, always ask for the reason. Don't let them think for you. Always question things, you know, put pressure on them. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I mean, even if it if it's not getting you anywhere, right? At least you tried. So to me, my honest, honest opinion is this case stands and falls with him. So Chris is scared that he will be transferred back to um, Colorado. That's his main concern. He's not concerned about his children. You know, he's, I just don't believe it based on the behavior. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Um, Audrey, what question do I have to scroll up? I also have a slight delay. Um, as always on freaking StreamYard. But all the other streaming, um, they want access to my Facebook profile and I'm not giving it to them. Um, Audrey, would you be so kind and type it again? Or if somebody, um, Pepperpot answered you. What was the question? I want to know. Sorry for my rant. <laughs> yeah, it is. It truly is. You know, and like I said, you really could think, yeah, you know, he did it. He did this and premeditating and, you know, telling her you that's coming at you. But if you look into the little details, uh-uh, not happening. Even if people want this to be true to fit their narrative, no. Not true. Absolutely not true. So, Audrey, please, um, please um, uh, uh, type your question again, sweetheart. Ah, oh, so, oh, I'm sorry. I never got my question answered last live. So, NK was in the basement while SW was in bed and CW strangled her. And were the children gone already when Shannon came home? Well, her statement was that she that he called her, confessed to her that they were gone or what he had done. She um, wanted to see if that's true. So she drove to his house, um, hid in the basement and then came home. He killed her in the in the bedroom upstairs. Um, he came downstairs, said it's done. I did it or what whatever she said. And that's her statement. So she's washing her hands totally of any involvement. <coughs> totally of any involvement. I mean, okay, uh, that, you know, carrying the body to his truck, I don't believe that either. Um, not because the truck is not going up and down, because... The footage, you guys, is so grainy. Um, and I had I had a talk about this with Don. You know, even if the truck moved, I don't think you would have seen a lot. The footage is so grainy of um, Nate. Those two, five, three, eight millimeters, I, I, I don't know, it, it probably wouldn't have make made a difference i was under the impression that the picture was related to the gender reveal party which was cancelled lift sheet off to reveal the identity to the kids in a game right also when i previously said something about the uh, pnd files i bet you any freaking money tomorrow when i wake up People go around saying, she downloaded the ultrasound picture of Nico on the internet. And I'm the idiot in this. So please, you guys, if you don't, again, if you don't hear it out of my mouth, don't believe it. Okay? 
Please don't believe it. No matter what you hear, don't believe it. Always come to me and ask me. If I said it, I, you know, I wear my garbage. I, I, I tell, I say, yeah, I said it. I'm not scared. If I didn't say it, you know, doesn't come out of my mouth, didn't say it. It's not true. TJ, do you think NK was present when the girls were killed? I'm on the edge with this, Emma. I truly am. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Is she that sick? Yeah, probably she is. But uh, would I don't think she did this, though. I, I don't think she... She was probably present. Yeah, I could see that. But did she did she kill them? Nah, I don't know. It's something, I, I mean, I don't have any proof and we don't have any proof that is ex placing her exactly there at that time, at that point in time. But I don't know, something inside of me says no. And usually my gut feelings are right. But this is just me. You know, I don't know. I truly don't. And I'm really on the edge with this. Um, really. Craftastic. I try to read your comment. Tanya, could you believe a word out of NK's mouth? Like, seriously, would you believe if I told you I was Madonna? Well, maybe. <laughs> Because I have not seen a picture of you yet. But no. Yeah, absolutely not. I Like I said, I don't believe anything she says. But at least it does place her on scene. And this is all we needed, you guys. All we needed. Right? All we needed. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm not buying, you know, the surface. I always call Steve the certain my husband a surface cleaner. I always go into the deep shit. <laughs> like cleaning inside the cupboards, not just on top. Yeah, but that's me. That was a stupid example, but this is how I am. I might be impulsive sometimes. That's because I'm so passionate, you know, and I get overly excited if I think I find something and then either Dave or Dawn they're shattering my my dreams <laughs> of stuff being true so yeah exactly Amy she wasn't supposed to be there well you called her when she was nosy <coughs> Bingo, that's what I believe too. I think Shannon was transported in NK's vehicle. Yeah. I mean, maybe Don comes on and gives um, his personal opinion about the case as well soon. Um, but yeah, I think that's um, what he believes as well, as far as I know. Or as far as I'm concerned, but I do believe that too. Um, like I said, not because the the truck went down or did go down. I just believe um, that. Do you know how hard it would be to put her in the back of that truck? That back seat is so little, it's stupid. Well, the back seat is anyway not not happening. Thanks for indulging our obsession again, TJ. <laughs> You're welcome. No, I just don't like, you know, I mean, why don't people listen? I mean, some things, especially, you know, if it comes to technical stuff, it's hard to understand, I admit it, because I'm getting a headache from it as well. But, you know, go around saying things I never said, and that gives a huge freaking um wave it's it's just not right and i as i'm sitting here trying to defend myself for things i haven't said i'm not doing it you know i don't owe these people anything so 
if you come at me saying, uh, you do this, do that. I mean, if you ask me nicely, TJ, can you please look at this? Or I have an idea. You're welcome, you know, or give your opinion if it's not presented ignorantly or rude. You know, we can discuss anything and everything here. Everything, right? Just don't come at me. And I mean, you don't know me, right? There are some people I, I, I never see in the chat and they sent me emails and stuff just to be rude saying and demanding of me, dude, not even my mother demands anything of me. And if somebody is demanding in a rude way, I totally block. I'm not doing nothing. So, but this is just how I am. You know, I'm a nice person and I help and, and all, but sometimes, you know, I need, uh, I'm not an idiot or something, right? Sorry for venting, but I just needed to get this off my chest because, but you guys are all nice. It's just, you know, people I've never seen in my life. Um, you know, I even had somebody join my channel just to bash somebody. I'm not having it. I mean, you don't hold any power of me for 90 cents a month. You don't. So forget this. He should be transferred back to Colorado. Then he might start shaking his nappy and singing like a bird. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. It's the same with like, yeah, people think he took the fall. But no, he knew. What's a hair in my face? He, he knew exactly what he did and he knew, even though they did not have evidence and just a theory, according to Rourke, um, he kn knows exactly to what extent he, his involvement was and what he did. So he's never going to get out of the situation, you know, and I think his lawyers told him that as well. Mm. Shannon was very large, not pregnant looking, but big hips and thighs, very hard to lift and slide forward. I don't know. I've never seen her in real life. And I don't know about her actual body weight and height. And I don't know. So I cannot comment on that. Yeah, I think so too. Not because what's this in person, you know? That's just where he should be. It's about the the agreements or, you know, deals in general, which I find disgusting, you know. And what I said in the last live stream as well, what bothers me the most is that he knows this. You know, he must know this and he doesn't say anything. So... He is good or fine with it if something like this happens to another family. Look at their criminal minds and their criminal thoughts. And he is fine with it just because for his own um, good or his own well-being, he's fine that it could happen that this happens to another family. This is sick. Sick. I don't believe the story. If someone told me that they killed their entire family, I would go insane. But NK was there and nothing like that happened. Exactly. You would go running to the police. Same with the story he put out there in the start. When he said... Um, when he wanted to, you know, incriminate Shanann saying she killed the kids. And what do you do? I didn't know what to do. Of course, you know what to do. You run out of that house, run to a neighbor, you know, ring their doorbell, scream, do whatever, do CPR. You know, or knock her out and then run out of the house and call police. You would do something. You do not load bodies into a truck and drive out to your workplace you don't do that if you're innocent no way no way 
was the girls gone when NK was there and NK was in the basement while Shannon was being strangled in bed? Didn't I already answer that question? Just came up. Um, well, according to her statement, and I'm saying her statement, not our opinion. According to her statement, he called her, told her what uh, during that 111 minute phone call, I guess. Um, told her what he did and she wanted to see herself that it's true. She drove to his house and then she waited there till Shannon got home in the basement. He murdered Shannon in the bedroom and then came down to her saying, it's done, I did it or something along those lines. That's her story. No alibi on Sunday. Correct. Well, I did actually look on the Dead Sea Scrolls exhibition. And they had that <coughs> in the museum at that time. And it ran till, I believe, the 5th or the 9th of September that year. Oh, the Dead Sea Scrolls exhibit. And it could be that she was there. No problem. You know, I don't even doubt that she was there with her family because, you know, she sends him messages to the Dead Sea Scrolls and he wanted to buy them or whatnot. See, that's, you know, no clue about anything historical. And uh, at least not um, with that topic. Anyways, um, but they closed at five. When did he come home from the birthday party or... When did he leave the birthday party? Around, what did Lindstrom say? Uh, Four-ish, 3.34 or something. What said he came home 20 past four or something, which is evidently not true. So yeah, she might have been at the museum, you see. Uh, but still there are five hours missing where nobody knows what anyone did. What evidence would have made it into a courtroom in front of a jury or judge? I believe they knew it wouldn't. Yeah, evidence, of course, a clear photo or clear um, footage of him carrying the bodies out or the girls you know, with that uh, theory they had. Yeah, just something. But you guys, I think they had him early on. They knew he was lying. I mean, look at him. Look at his um, uh, behavior and all. I can't believe CW killed the, his girls. I just can't or I don't want to. Well, even if he did, Penny, uh, I know I was in that, you know, same thought process. <clears throat> I thought, oh, he's such a nice guy. But he actually is, no, oh, I don't even want to say that. But he's not a nice guy, guys. He's not. He doesn't care. You know, if you know your kids are in danger and you love them and your kids may be killed, you do anything to prevent that from happening. You don't sit in a sit in a freaking interrogation room, you know, eating pizza. You don't do that. You just don't. Even if he didn't do it, let's say he didn't kill them, he actually at least knew what was going to happen. And for that alone, you know, ugh. He gave so many intricate details of how he killed everyone. Some really gruesome details. Yeah, absolutely. Why should Anne's parents say that she was not involved when it is super obvious that she was in it? Otherwise, how did law enforcement know that the bodies were at survey and no longer, and not forget her ping? Was it the purpose? Well, I think they confronted her with all the evidence they had. And then she said, all right, I'm going to tell you, but 
I want something, you know, this is what I can see happening. I do though, I do believe though, that she was not the one leading investigators or telling investigators where the bodies were. I don't think so. I think that was TM. But just my opinion based on all the things that went down. Was. I think he had it in him a long time. My God has usually always been right. And I still feel deep within that CW did not kill his girls and K did. I don't know. I, I don't see it. I don't. I I. I don't. Even if he didn't, you know, he did nothing to prevent it from happening. And therefore, to me, he's not a good dad anymore. Because you love your kids as a parent unconditionally. His parents love him unconditionally. And they deserve the truth more than anyone. Both families, actually. Right? He's not giving it to them, which is very sad. Oh. I'm not tough at all. Provision of grief, not at all. But I am honest, yeah. No warm douche, no. Um, the thing is, sometimes I might be too honest. And I might, um, you know, I just say things straight out and I might hurt people with the way I am. But I just don't like that backstepping, you know, talking and walking on actual stuff. I just don't like it. I feel like you guys, you know, I come here because I'm very, very nervous about tomorrow. And I just felt like I... You know, also talked to my mods previ previously in the chat and all. And I just needed to do this so I can, you know, be with. And I see you guys as my friends. Because we grew together as a great community, all of us. You know, it's so nice to see all the people in the chat and Every time I see the same people and more and more people join our little community, it's great. And I love the discussions, even though I freak out sometimes. But, you know, I'm just a normal person. I'm not, I'm not pretty, I'm, I'm not tough or anything. You know, I'm just a normal person with feelings. And sometimes I'm overreacting and being too honest to the point where I say, all right, you shouldn't have said this, like not that way, because, um, you know, some people are sensitive or, you know, but yeah, that's the way I am. I can't help it. Mm, pleadies are when they got nothing. In my opinion, if he went to trial, I think the outcome would have been different. Absolutely. That's why her dad was so scared. Or she even was so scared. Oh, the trial and, you know, and is this going to trial? Or what if it, it takes a plea agreement? Um, and she was repeatedly asking about his court appointment, like the hearing. Is he going to plea guilty at that hearing? You know, and when um, Kobeck said, oh, we don't know if he's taking the plea, you know. Oh, my God, I'm so behind on that chat. Ooh, I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, so why so much attention given to N.A. at the beginning of all this? Um, Anna, I never was into N.A. that much. I didn't understand her 360 to begin with. And, um, you know, I I still haven't made my mind up yet about her, to be totally honest with you. Um, I haven't, because I just cannot see through that woman. I, I can't. Oh, and somebody said um, to me today, or was it tomorrow? I can't remember. Um, when I said last time, 
that I had the information that NA and the Rusek family are no longer talking. That's apparently not true because someone is Facebook friends with her and they see, so that person sees them interacting all the time. So apparently it's not true. TJ, what about CW walking backwards like he's pulling something to the truck? Yeah, I don't know. Um, that might be, you know, a toad or something. I don't know. Definitely not Shannon. I don't think so. Wouldn't we have seen that under the under the truck? You know, if she was rolled in that sheet, big white sheet. Hmm. CW was good masking his cunning dish aside until he met highly intelligent people. He was so comfortable in his mode. He got careless and got caught. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think he also trusted the wrong people. Um, no, not demanded me uh, to continue with the case. Um, they demanded me to obtain certain um, documents or look into certain things I went over like a million times um, and all that. And I, I just, I was been there, not doing it again, you know. And then I said, you know, if you want to do it, don't believe me, just do it yourself and see how you, how far you get because, you know, that's all blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> if I get too much, like if this is getting too much, I just quit. You know, I'm not in this for the money or anything, you know. YouTube does not pay that good. <laughs> I can't tell you that much. <laughs> and if they do, I um, donate anyway. Um, right from this jump straight after the case hit the headlines, before we even knew any details about the case, my gut instinct and thoughts were that he did not kill his girls. Yeah, but he didn't help them either. And this is... What I have a big, massive problem with, you know. Yep, they do call this case solved. I mean, it is solved, right? They have their person. And you got to also keep in mind, you know, the, the general public doesn't care. Rourke delivered. The general public wanted someone to be guilty. And they do not ask, ask questions. Us, as a true crime community and YouTube creators, we do ask questions. And all the people who are interested in these true crime cases and follow our channels, like you guys, we ask the questions, not the general public. We do. So that's why I don't think they even care. What did I do? I heard you were in Colorado closing a scroll on the Saratoga Trail House. Oh my God. Same thing with I'm living in North Carolina. Give me a break. <laughs> Never been to North Carolina in my life. <clears throat> uh, yes, the plea deal was unlawful and should have been a trial. But the DA and Adarko, Lavelle, et cetera, wanted that case closed and shut down immediately. Yeah. Angie, do, don't you hear me? Do you guys hear me? Yes, yeah, sometimes my internet is going down and breaking up pretty bad. That's probably why. Okay, I got to scroll and scroll. Exactly. 
not WA. NK never included Nico in the future. She said CW was going to get a unit for him and girls. No Nico. She had a plan to get rid of Shannon and baby. Yeah, absolutely agree. Shut up. <laughs> you, if you get a GoFundMe for $660,000, you give us at least half of it so we can hire that freaking private investigator. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> None of the police video with NK makes sense after Dawn's presentation. Did she confess after these police videos? Police videos. Do you mean the body cam? I don't think she saw the body cam footage that was um, made publicly available, I believe, after his um, sentencing, when the digital discovery came out. That was in November 2018. I believe that was a day. Uh, no, the same day of his sentencing, the discovery came out. And I believe two or three days after whole Weld County servers broke down because everybody downloaded the digital files. Yeah, I remember that. That was, that was crazy times. Mm. Uh, did anyone see the YouTuber short of Bella talking to Shannon about oil? Thought that was weird. What is that hill? What was that about? Oh. Hmm. Absolutely not. And I argued to the bone with somebody. Thrive is not recommended for pregnant women and contains white willow bark and it's dangerous for the baby. Spot on, Rachel. Spot on. Because in a previous live stream of mine, I was addressing this. I think it was in the autopsies. I can't remember. I was addressing this and I got bashed like crazy. Oh, her doctor approved this. No. I was looking on the internet for like a week preparing that live stream and not one doctor in a thousand I've been searching, not one of them recommends Thrive products while being pregnant. None of them. And there comes Shannon and gets an, the approval of a doctor. Not happening. No way. Don't believe it. No way. I think the body was in the truck. Uh, the, I think the body in the truck is just there to fit the narrative. Took them out like trash. I believe Shannon was taken out the back. Yeah. Yeah. I believe Cece was speaking about digging, but it wasn't at the sand dunes. It was at home. Cece was talking about the digging? I thought that was one of the Lindstrom kids. Oh. <clears throat> right you're right Lisa I'm really glad you're still talking about the case I just don't know how he can look in the mirror every day what he did to this his babies yeah I agree Sue and like I said you know even if he did not which many, many people believe, and I don't blame them, you know, many, many people believe he didn't do this, at least not to his children. But then on the other hand, you know, he did nothing to prevent it either. So no hill, because there would be, um, there, that would be evidence of some sort in the, in the autopsy. I mean, Shannon's lungs were collapsed and Cece's lungs were collapsed. But that also happens, you know, if somebody is on top of you. 
what is sure in that case, Lady Sarah? Yeah, I do believe it. You cannot be 100% sure about nothing in this case. Mm. But that's a good question. Absolutely, Karen, I do remember that. I made a whole live stream about this. Do you remember hearing a text conversation when CW said they would fr uh, freak out? That was over at Nate's. And I do, in my humble opinion, believe that she knew that police was there already. And uh, not as she stated, she only learned at 4 or 5 p.m. that um, his family was missing. That's bullcrap, in my opinion. I think um, because Chris had no uh, prior involvement with law enforcement or anything, um, I think that she gave him some sort of, of advice or what to say or what to do while law enforcement was present. And he pro she probably suggested something and he said, oh, my God, they would freak out if I tell them. I don't know. It's just a, a little thought I have, a little theory. Do you guys want to see the Weld County, uh, the best um, <laughs> county in collecting evidence? I, I can play that because I got to go real quick somewhere. Um, here you go. Funny, huh? <clears throat> this is how well county collects evidence. Yeah, I heard that also, Elizabeth. It was Lucky Star Serial. Okay, so let me ask you this. Why would she delete that message she sent to him and only leave his reply if it was a message about Lucky Star's Serial? There wouldn't have been any reason for her to delete that message she sent to him, which made him reply like that, in my opinion. Hmm. <coughs> While watching the girls. <coughs> mm -mm. I don't believe so. Oh, I heard in the John Benet case there's new DNA evidence. I got it. Um, that channel, what is it called? Um, 60 Minutes Australia. They, um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> they brought something out. I saw on my newsfeed on YouTube that they brought something out that there is new evidence. I, I haven't had the time to watch it, but I'm going to. Um, that should be interesting. Um, I guess we don't want to believe people can do something so cruel and cold and then stand on a porch and be all chillaxed in an interview. Yeah. Yeah. We don't understand, right? We don't. Our brains cannot comprehend it because we're normal. At least sometimes we're normal. Yeah, if Thrive cured lupus, everyone that has it would be taking it for sure. I don't think that cures anything. Yeah, that that that, <laughs> that takes your money and that's all, in my opinion. Some people, you know, who do thrive, they say that really helps. 
but it's not available here and I'm not going to order it. <coughs> it's all full of caffeine. Um, such a big difference in how each county does their job, yet all would have been trained more or less in the same way. Yeah, you would think they are trained in the same way. Oh, man. Thank you, Pepper Pot. Yeah, I thought, I, you know, I, I didn't come here to vent or scream or, you know, attack. Not at all. But I'm just tired of this crap that's been going on, you know. He said, she said crap. So again, if you don't hear it, uh, I'm going to. I'm going to put a banner up. If you don't hear it out of my mouth, me saying it, don't believe it. Um, tumbleweed. What? Go watch anti-MLM's channels. Even people who have spoken out, they are disgusting and level is one of the worst MLM's. They use cancer and now COVID thrive heals. But isn't that a criminal offense if you say, you know, a certain medication, take that and you're healed or cured from cancer and it's not true and it's not proven? Isn't that a, I mean, here it's a, it's an, a criminal offense. They lock you up for this, especially if people think, you know, I take this and they're in good beliefs. Um Research the Scottish murder of Jody Jones. Yeah, Elizabeth, no problem. Send it to me. Yeah, they are great, aren't they? Desired. They are great. Okay, I gotta scroll down. I know you do. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Um, does anyone really believe that NK would be talking one minute about Metallica lyrics and Serial the next moment? Nope. No way. I mean, I do believe that she was talking about Metallica lyrics. I'm still in the preparation of this um, stream about, you know, I mean, not. I'm not saying met, it's Metallica's fault, but there is certain things that I think pushed him and gave him big, massive, fat confidence to go through with this. Um, and I think Metallica, that song, was giving him some sort of power in his mind. The only way Thrive is in the USA is because they do not do the long-term trials in that the EU and UK do. You can buy anything in the USA. That's why the drug problem is so bad. Oh, is it? Yeah, probably. You can even get aspirin here without a prescription. That's how, how bad it is. Um, when do you think we will hear the possible evidence regarding that when CW took the girls to the tanks, do you think he used an empty house? on the estate to change them. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's it's simpler than that, what he did. It's, it's very, very simple what he did. But I'll let, you know, I don't wanna say anything because this is Don's information and I want Don to be on panel to reveal this if he wants to. But um, no, there was no empty house or anything like that. Um, it's so simple when you're going to hear it, you you will say, oh, my God, really? We should have thought about this. <clears throat> Lisa, mm, I'm working on something. It's not done yet. I'm working on it for like two, three, four, five, six months. And I still didn't get around to it. But there's some stuff coming. Also... Um, there are, um, like suppliers, but I want this to be a certain fabric and stuff. So yeah, I'm still looking around for 
the right suppliers. But there's definitely something coming, not only t-shirts. Uh, absolutely not, Mitch. She's not a motherly type. Uh-uh. I don't believe it. What what are your thoughts on the safe house? Chanel and the girls, they were supposedly taken to. I think you and Dave did a live on it. On a safe house? What do you mean by safe house? Do you mean the bat cave? Where they 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 have their tools and stuff? We were thinking um Back way back then, we were thinking when we went through um, TM's geotap, we were thinking, oh, bad cave and stuff, something to do with it. But the the thing is, there's no evidence that Chris was there in the morning or on Sunday or whatnot. Oh, and I also got a message. He didn't climb any stairs on Sunday, so... He couldn't have done this on Sunday. Well, smarty pants, we don't have the data for Sunday. So there's that. I'm not I'm, I'm not referring to you, Anna. <laughs> yeah, and you know, giving him power, state of mind, power. Exactly. Power song. Um, yep, I do believe that too, sugar beet, some dark stuff. I believe we have the cure to cancer and a lot of other diseases, but only the extremely rich could afford to be healed. Okay, let me ask you this, desired. Steve Jobs, yeah, Apple guy, he died of cancer. <clears throat> <clears throat> he was one of the richest people in this world. Don't you think he would have bought his health back? If he could? No. You can have millions, billions of money. You can not buy health. You can't. I mean, that you get probably better treatment if you have a better health insurance, yes. But, um, yeah, he would have if he had the chance, but he died. <laughs> no, I'm going to the UK soon, so I can get low dosage. Here, everything is with prescription. It's sad, but also good in one way or the other. You know, at least not kids getting medications and stuff, um, get their hands on medications and all that. Yes, Elizabeth. My email address is, I put it in the chat. There you go. All right, you guys. Um, I think he did put something there. We have yet to figure out what it was. When we see that... Um, <coughs> You know, that little line where he goes around 1029, I believe it is. No, not 1029, 1129, the dump site. Um, we see that he circled that area, but we don't know at what time he did this. So it could have been that he, you know, drove there on his way out to Survey 319 or after, or when he, you know, went to the toilet in the fields. Um, we don't know. It would be interesting to know because if it was in the morning, probably he hit something there. Uh, 
Safe house theory is ridiculous. Oh, red sky black. Now I know what you're talking about. That um, dumpster house where the dumpster was. It, and uh, I heard that somebody said a body was hidden in there. And when Chris drove past that, he did something or loaded, reloaded the body or something like that. Yeah. Um, how is that? How is that going to happen? How is that even possible? There were construction workers going around that area, you know, in and out. So don't I think they would have seen a body. If that's it, uh, if that's it, what you're referring to. So. Really? Oh, my God. Did he? <gasps> I got to read up on that. Absolutely, Catherine. Tomorrow is never promised. Live in love for today. Exactly. Do you mean me, Dave? Please explain the scent Jane was talking about during her walk around the block. Do you mean I should explain it? Oh my god, I'm so behind on that freaking stream yard. Thank you, Elizabeth. Didn't Jeff plan something somewhere? Yeah, that's what, what I heard. That um, I'm not sure. Maybe Dave G knows. I'm not sure if that's in the discovery, but um, they basically did a trial run or something. And then uh, placed a scent somewhere in the area to see if the dog would pick it up. So they would be sure that, um, you know, they can trace her or something. I can't remember. I haven't lo looked into that um, discovery dog stuff. Have a good night, Nanya Business. See you soon. I was referring to a supposed house on the side, on the other side of Saratoga Trail. I can't remember exactly the life, but it made so much sense at the time. On the other side of the Saratoga Trail, I gotta look for it. I can't remember. So Shannon was taken out of the Minnie Mouse window and not killed right away. Where did they take her and when did she get killed? I think she was killed right away and then taken out immediately. I don't know what you mean, Dave. I, I can only um, repeat what I heard. I, or... You know, I, I can't remember. It's been such a long time with those K9. And the reason why I'm never re-watching it is because of lines like click, 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 click. She does my head in. Ugh. There you go. Sugar Beat does explain it. They tested the dog's abilities. There you go. <laughs> why would Jane not be informed on test send um, I think he called her didn't he on, on his way or something I can't remember I have to read up on it I uh, ordered patches of the slimming patches of the internet <laughs> Okay, let me know if they work. Then I order them too. <laughs> um, <sighs> I 
Jane definitely said, Jeff said, this is sent from Shanann girls, then moved on. Hmm. This is the send from Shanann and the girls. Right. So maybe they passed the house. I don't know. Jane Stark, at the very least, alerted to the portaloo for or dumpster, and it was on the way back from Black Mesa Drive, where he stopped for four minutes. Nobody was in that house, which was bought in October 2018. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say never, but rarely. I get my prescriptions at my doctor's office desired for anything and everything like painkillers and stuff. You cannot, well, you can get them here in the pharmacy, but only on a little, little doses, like, you know, help nothing. Uh, if NK was there and helped with cleanup or cleaning uh, or anything, then why did she act so innocent in her interviews? Exactly. Exactly. She did act innocent. You know, I'm not tired and I don't know, but I might be with the information we have now from Dawn. It would be interesting if we think or, you know, if we look differently at her interview now, you know, so I might watch it tonight. Or even if you guys want to watch it, I can play it here. I don't know what you guys think. You want me to play her interview? The one that was released four years after the fact. Um, with her dad sitting there. <clears throat> I don't know. I can play it. I mean, if not, I watch it in silence on my own <laughs> because then I can swear like a sailor at her. <laughs> when is Don going to give us the rest of his info? Um, whenever he decides to do this. With live commentary for me. Oh my goodness. Interview room, sugar beat. Interview room. So put a one in chat if I should play it and put a two in chat for hell no. <laughs> one for yes. Two for hell no. I just want to see if we see things different now. I know it's a pain in the ass, but... If you don't want to watch it, then <laughs> everybody is too. Please edit the fake crying out, I beg you. See, Big T, I would, but it's actually a federal offense to edit um, uh, uh, documents and files. <laughs> okay, Dave is going to show it. All right. Um Okay, maybe next time. <clears throat> All right, you guys, that was a super, super, super nice talk and discussion with you. I hope you enjoyed the content I was bringing to you and I hope you understood or now understand better what this was all about with the wrapped up doll and yeah I hope um, that clears some things up all right I'm gonna go now and watch MK's interview on my own and yeah I'm just trying to you know re rest a little bit I don't think I can ever sleep um, tomorrow 8 a.m my time I'll be undergoing an endoscopy for my stomach. And all I need is, you know, positive wipes sent my way. 
and some prayers. I'm not scared of the procedure. I'm just scared of what they might find. So, yeah, I'm I'm a chicken when it comes to this. So, with that being said, I absolutely love you guys. I think we we're great friends and a great family growing closer and closer together. And yeah, what else can I say? Thank you guys for everything. And I'll be gonna see you very, very soon. Stay out of trouble. And always remember, if you don't hear it from me, it's not true. All right? I love you guys. See you very, very soon. Bye-bye.